Hello friends and family of YouTube. Today we are going to talk about the toilet. Boy, this is going to be an interesting video, huh? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I have never used my toilet in my camper for certain reasons. I'm going to tell you ways to get around that, how you can uh, basically use something that you've got laying around the house to take with you and get the same job done that the toilet would. And man, I tell you what, you're going to be happy to use this system. I promise you. I did a video years ago and uh, the video had uh, in the title something to do with how to flush a toilet in a camper. Man, I got a lot of views on that videos and I got a lot of complaints. The reason I got a lot of complaints is I did it basically as a joke. I didn't take it serious because I didn't know that there was that many people that really don't know how to use the toilet in their camper. And after I got to thinking about what their comment said, I completely understand why it is a little confusing. So uh, let's go ahead and start with how to use the, uh, the toilet and then I'll tell you why I never use mine. Well, the first thing we need to talk about is, uh, of course, that the lighting's not the greatest in here, and there is not a lot of room. Of course, you can imagine how small this camper is, and of course, how small my bathroom is. I do not have a lot of space in here to move around and get you the greatest video, but I'm going to try. To flush, just simply flush the commode. You can see my foot is going down here to a lever, and there you go. You can flush it. Water goes around. Now, if you were just going to do, uh, just <laughs> take a leak, all you're going to do is take a leak. You don't need to do anything special. Ladies, I will tell you that you need to have you a garbage can nearby. Use that garbage can to put your paper in. Do not put the paper in the toilet. You would simply, when you get done doing your, uh, taking a leak, there you go. You have flushed it down and the toilet rinses itself. Now let's say that you wanted to put something similar to a candy bar, a chocolate candy bar in this toilet. Well, you wouldn't want to just set it in there because it would start getting a mess all over the side of your toilet. So what you do is you take your foot and you just barely press down. And if you notice, it's not flushing, it is filling. Okay, so what you want to do is you get it up, get the water level up to where when you drop that candy bar, that chocolate bar in there, that it's not going to smear all over inside that toilet. So now once you get it to the point you want it, now you can do whatever you want to do and put that uh, candy bar, that chocolate bar in there. Now you've got it done. You put your toilet paper somewhere else. Do not put it down into the... Uh, into the toilet you've got your business done take your foot flush it Woo! there it goes right down the drain all right so now let's talk about what i would rather do as opposed to using this toilet all right so what i like to use is a bucket and if you notice this bucket is is square and it's pretty decent size depth uh i i prefer using a square bucket versus a round for any kind of liquid festivities, I always use the toilet in the camper. Liquid festivities, you're fine. Use that toilet in the camper all you want to. Man, I tell you what. But when it comes to, if you wanted to get rid of a chocolate bar, here's what you're gonna use. Use you a bucket. So what I've done is I've taken and put two Walmart bags, uh, these Walmart bags are not good for anything, but boy, they're good for this. So you want to put two in there because you sure don't want this thing to break. So you can imagine why. All right, so now that you've got these uh, Walmart bags into your, your bucket, now you want to take cedar sawdust and put it into your bag. All right. So now that you've got your bag with some cedar sawdust in it, I'll use this piece of uh, firewood here for example. You just stuck that uh, candy bar in there and you're wanting to hide it from everybody. Well, now what you do is you take some more cedar sawdust, you put it on top of it, take your bags off your can, tie it up, 
Now you can throw it away. Now, there are some people that's going to say that's that's not good for the environment. Well, neither is diapers, and people been doing that for a long time. And I don't recall if I mentioned it earlier or not, but you can also get uh, cedar shavings at Walmart for, uh, I think it's about $8 for a huge bag. That bag ought to last you for many, 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 many months. So now I also want to show you why I like using a square bucket versus a round bucket. A square bucket, let's imagine this is your legs going across here. So you actually have something to rest your legs on because of the shape of it. If it was round, to me it just doesn't seem to have quite the same situation. So at least with a square one, you've got something to put your uh, legs on. But you can actually get a round bucket and a toilet seat that's made for it. Uh, I don't know that you can get them at uh, any store that sells camping supplies. They're not cheap. I got this bucket for free. Walmart bags for free. My sawdust was free because I make cedar swings. Uh, I use cedar lumber quite often. So for me, this was the most economical way to go about it. I didn't see any need in buying um, a round bucket and one with a, a toilet seat on there. But you know, it would give you versatility. You could go sit it somewhere else and use it. Maybe, maybe either in uh, if you have a van or something like that that you wanted to give yourself a little privacy and uh, make it a little more comfortable. You could do that as well. And right about now, you were begging to ask me, Dave, why in the world would I want to go through all that trouble? Man, that just seems like a lot of trouble. Why not just use the toilet? I'm going to tell you why. Because I have been at countless places throughout the years where I would ask the owner of the property wherever I'm camping at, and I would say, hey, do you mind if I dumping out my shower water? And they would go, no, no, there ain't no problem with that. So I would be able, wherever I was, just to empty out my tank. Okay, now you can also ask them, Hey, do you mind if I, uh, I've, I I take a leak in my toilet, but I don't do anything any worse than that. And it'd be like, oh yeah, it ain't no big deal. I, I pee out in the backyard all the time. No, nope, no big deal. So anyway, you can take your tanks and empty them wherever you are, as long as you got permission. I'm not, I'm not telling you to dump them out in the middle of a Walmart parking lot. But the reason why this works better is because as I told you, you don't put any toilet paper in there, so you're not gonna have any toilet paper on the ground. You're not gonna have any chocolate bars on the ground either. After a little bit of time, that water's gonna dry up. There's no evidence you were even there. Nobody cares, doesn't bother anyone, doesn't bother a thing. So um, that's why I love to do it. Now, here's another good reason why you wanna do it. Let's say that you had 50 gallons in there. That is nearly 400 pounds between your black and your gray tank. Why would you want to drive around with 400 pounds in your camper if you don't need to? Plus, I don't have to look for a, uh, a place to go dump. I have been pulling this particular camper since 2013. I have never one time ever had to pay to dump out my tanks. A lot of people would love to be able to say that, but I can. Seven years with this camper, not one time have I ever had to pay. Not to mention, if I want to, I can drag it home. I can dump it out in my yard. I don't have to worry about it. I know exactly what's in there. It's not a big deal to me. I can empty it right in my yard. Great. Well, folks, you've just watched me make the most uncomfortable video I've ever had to make, but hey, I appreciate y'all sticking around to uh, to the end. I'm sure down in the comments below, you can read some suggestions by other folks that have been doing this a long time and some full timers. I love the people that use the comment section. Hey, it's just like a forum board. So uh, leave your comments down there too as well. And uh, man, it is scorching hot out of here. I'm ready to get inside Never look forward to editing video, but uh, I've got an air conditioner in there, so I am looking forward to that. Folks, I appreciate it. Hope to see y'all again real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Man, look how much sweat I got on my shirt.
took me, what, 20, 30 minutes to do this video? Woo, I worked so hard. <laughs> if anyone ever tells you it is not very hot in Alabama, or the South for that matter, just poke them right in the eye. Just If you ever watch Three Stooges when they just do like that and they just poke somebody in the eye, give them some of that. If they tell you it doesn't get hot down here in the South. 